As the clock struck 3.24 p.m. in Switzerland, thousands of women rallied across the wealthy Alpine nation to protest against the deep-rooted inequalities in one of the richest countries in the world. They demand equal pay. And the timing of 3.24 p.m. also carries special significance. Our next report explains why. As the clock strikes 3.24 p.m. on a working day, women in Switzerland say that they start working for free, owing to the wage discrimination in the wealthy nation. And so, on one such afternoon, at this very minute, thousands of women gathered on a nationwide strike to protest against the slow pace of change in the country. They screamed, signaling their frustration towards gender parity in Switzerland. Most of the demonstrators skipped work and let go of their household responsibilities on the day and joined in to raise a voice demanding equal pay and recognition for their work. They also asked for greater representation in the corridors of power. For me, it is emotional because I scream for me, but I also scream for my sisters and brothers. I scream for all the other children who lost a mother or a father. And I also scream for my mother, who would have screamed if she was still here. Now I can die in peace. The next generation is here to take over. But for a while, I was very sad. I thought we fought for many things, but we did not finish the job and nobody was here to finish it. Women sang and screamed their demands in solidarity and held signs that read, girls just want to have fundamental rights, which is a clever spin on the American singer Cindy Lauper's famous song, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. The Swiss women marched through the streets of Geneva in a protest movement which also includes demonstrations in Switzerland's other major cities and towns. And comes 28 years after the first national work stoppage by Swiss women. This strike also comes a year after half a million people marched to highlight Switzerland's poor record on women's rights. This year's protest was subdued because of coronavirus restrictions. But even the masks did not stop these women from screaming their hearts out. I think like all women, we feel a lot of injustice. I'm 20 years old and I would love to walk at night wearing a skirt, shorts or leggings without being insulted, without being scared to be raped. Of course, everybody fears something when going out or when we meet strangers, but I think no man at night is scared of being raped. I also hope to have a daughter one day and that she will have the same pay as her male colleagues who have the same qualifications. And this is for all the women who are dead, all who have been raped, for all who have suffered. Some of these protesters say that they have been participating in all women's rights strikes since the year 1991. Despite its high standards of living, Switzerland has a poor record in workplace equality. In fact, Swiss women earned roughly a fifth less than men. While women may have come a long way in achieving a certain degree of gender equality when compared to their ancestors, the debate surrounding the gender pay gap continues to rage globally, cutting across boundaries of race, age and nationality. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.